Nikon cameras have an HDR mode where the camera captures two images, one overexposed and one underexposed, and merges them in camera to create a photo with high dynamic range. To test and demonstrate this feature on the Nikon Z8, I composed a high contrast scene with bright highlights and dark shadows. First, I chose my image quality, but keep in mind that regardless of what format you choose, the final image that the camera produces with the HDR mode will be limited to JPEG. And since the final photo will be in JPEG, we would have less flexibility to edit the photo if we were interested to do so after the fact. So it is wise to choose and customize a picture profile that is to your liking. In my case, I left it on auto. Once you set your picture settings, simply go to HDR overlay. You can select whether you want to use the HDR mode only once by choosing single photo, or if you want this mode to remain turned on, choose serious. Keep in mind while HDR mode is enabled, the following restrictions apply on your camera. So don't forget to turn off HDR mode if you decide to keep it on for multiple shots. HDR strength will determine by how much your camera will overexpose one shot and underexpose the other. For example, if you have a very strong contrast like in my case, you may want to choose extra high. If you're unsure, just simply select auto and the camera usually does a pretty good job. Nikon's Z cameras introduced a great feature in the HDR mode, which allows you to keep the two raw shots that will be taken to create the final image. This can be very useful if you're not happy with the merge HDR photo from the camera and wants to edit or merge the shots on your own to potentially achieve a better result. Once you have all your camera settings dialed in, you can simply press your shutter button and the camera will rapidly take both shots and merge them. As you can see, the camera underexposed one shot and then overexposed the other one, and this is the final merged HDR image. I think Nikon's HDR mode is a cool feature to have, and if you have a particular photo editing style that you can set up in your picture profiles, then this feature could save you time editing. And on that note, if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to let me know in the comment section down below. And if my video was helpful, please consider subscribing to my channel and liking my video.